Hello, in this video we're going to talk about performance inside Replicant. We try to offer the best balance between visual quality and performance, but in some cases, depending on the scene and your hardware, you might need to change some settings to improve the performance so you can work properly on the viewport. And for that, we have a few different tools to achieve that. First, you need to know where to locate your graphical settings. So come to settings, preference, graphics, and here you will see the different options. You can change the overall settings from very low to the maximum, which is cinematic. And you have your upscaling, which I will recommend to leave NVIDIA DLSS on. And in this case, I have it to quality. And I usually keep those graphics at maximum because there are there is another option which is this icon here, that when you enable it, it will switch to different settings. So I have this scene, which is a very heavy scene um, performance-wise. As you can see, I don't have too much, too many FPS. But when I click this icon, visually, it looks very similar, but I gain a lot of FPS. And if you click in this, um, drop down menu you can see what this icon is doing it's basically changing the graphical settings while this is on so i have uh, most of my settings to epic and the lss to ultra performance so i use this to work um, more efficiently in the viewport you can always choose different settings depending on uh, your needs um, Keep in mind, below high, if you go to medium, you will see a drastically drop in visual quality. And that's fine if you are just building your environment and you want the maximum performance so everything is uh, smooth. Uh, if not, I recommend to have at least everything at high. And then the LSS Ultra Performance is very nice to get as much FPS as possible. And then if you want to see like the final result, you can disable that. And if in your preference you have, like me, your graphics set to maximum, you will see like your final uh, uh, scene. Another setting you can uh, toggle on and off is this one here which will disable or hide all the groom assets in your environment. As you can see, now my character doesn't have any groom assets. This will improve the performance as grooms tend to be very performance heavy. Uh, this will not affect the render, so you can render your scene with this on and your hair will be there. Mm. And another thing to consider, uh, to get the best performance possible is uh, the lighting consideration. The number of lights in your scene directly affects the performance, so you have to use them strategically and try to avoid unnecessary overlapping. So let's show all the lights in my environment. And for example, let's look here. When you select one light, you can go to MISC and enable show visualization, and you will see the this wireframe sphere this is the distance at the light uh, at which the light is affecting the environment so you can reduce it a lot or increase it uh, the bigger the number the more performance heavy this light is going to be and the more lights are overlapping their um, area of influence the because it's going to be the performance impact. So keep that in mind. In some cases, you cannot do anything about it because you need that. But I try to be uh, careful where you place your lights. Um, for example, in this case, because this is for a very cinematic shot, I have a bunch of lights for my character. And there is very little I can do to avoid certain overlapping. But uh, if you want a very optimize environment try to have your lights um, with the distance 
set to the minimum that you need for that light. And also the number of lights. Uh, as you can see, if I, for example, hide of my all the lights even in my environment, but the character, you will see how it affects the, um, the FPS. So that's also something you need to keep in mind. And those are the three main aspects for um, for optimizing your environment in Revlicon. Uh, make sure your graphical settings uh, are um, make sure your graphical settings match your hardware. Uh, also, try to use the this boost icon to work while you're working to have a lower graphical settings. Uh, try to use the DLSS ultra performance or performance as much as possible if you need that. Hide your render, your grooms uh, while you're working on your scene or your animation. And be careful with how many lights and how big their distance radius is. And with that, you should be able to work pretty much in an environment with uh, enough performance. And then, when you render your sequence, you can always, in your render settings, change the quality of the render and the DLS quality as well. So you don't have to worry about what settings you have in your viewport. You can change that in the render for the final uh, output.